Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. Did you know that the average person spends about 21 minutes in a waiting room? With guests spending this much time, it is important to make sure that you leave a lasting impression while making sure they are comfortable and feel welcomed. Today, I'm gonna to go over the eight ideas on how to lay out your waiting room. Are you looking for new waiting room furniture? BTAD TV is your number one reception furniture resource. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on any of our new waiting room content. Your waiting room should reflect your organization or company while also making your guests feel welcome. Knowing how to design your waiting room can be difficult. That's why we've come up with tips and advice to help you through the layout process. Before you start the layout process, you want to have an idea of where guests enter and exit. Make sure that your waiting room is in a clear location and easy to find so guests know where to go. You want to be sure that traffic flows easily so that there's no bottlenecking or cross traffic. Have a separate exit to keep guests moving so that they don't have to retrace their steps. Your furniture is the most important part of your waiting room because it's the first thing that guests see when they arrive and it determines how comfortable they will be. Your reception desk is the focal point of your office, so make sure that it is visible and easily accessible. Find a reception desk that fits all of your needs when it comes to storage. The last thing you want is for guests to see a bunch of papers and boxes on your desk. You also want to make sure that you get the right size desk so that it fits all of your needs, such as printers and computers and phones. Make sure that you choose a finish that matches your decor while also providing durability. Wood grain laminates can be hard wearing. Most importantly, be sure to measure everything so that you know that your reception furniture will fit in your area. With your waiting room seating, you should also measure your space so that you know that your furniture will fit without any issues. To determine how many chairs you will need, think about how many people are using your chairs on your busiest day. When measuring, leave extra room between chairs and space for guests to move around, along with room for tables. You should also consider the pattern you want to use, such as a square or U-shape. There are many things to consider when choosing reception furniture. First off, is it comfortable? Having uncomfortable furniture can make the wait time feel exceptionally long for those waiting for 20 minutes or longer. You should also consider their ages, sizes, and mobility. This will help you determine if you need chairs with or without arms, along with different sizes, so you can accommodate your guests. You will also need to figure out what type of upholstery you need. If you have high traffic areas, you will want to find something with durability. Vinyl is a great option and can be easily cleaned. Lastly, find something that fits your budget. Also, leave enough lead time if you need your waiting room done by a certain time. The colors you choose for your waiting room furniture can affect the way your visitors feel. Blue is a reassuring color and denotes honesty and security. Green is calming. Colors like yellow and red can cause anxiety and aggression. When choosing colors for your waiting room furniture, keep in mind your company's colors as well as something that will match your decor. If you're undecided on colors for your upholstery, look into getting color samples so you know what will go best in your waiting room. A good waiting room should have a few decor items, such as a fish tank or artwork, so your guests have something to look at while they wait. A waiting room is also a great opportunity to advertise your business. Also, be sure to leave out some reading material so that your guests have a way to pass the time. The lighting in your waiting room is a key factor to setting the right mood. For business settings, try using a soft, bright light to create a sense of calmness. If you're going for a family vibe, use low warm lights to create a homey feel. Try staying away from artificial lights such as fluorescent bulbs because they can come off harsh. Natural light from windows is great because it can make your room feel larger. Another added feature you may want to consider is making outlets easily accessible so users can charge their phones, tablets, or laptops. For some guests, work doesn't stop, so providing them with free Wi-Fi can be a great addition. Even adding some TVs can be a great way to display info about your business or give them a virtual tour. Now I know the design process can be stressful, but there are online design tools that can help you out. 2020 Giza and ConceptDraw help you create layouts and develop quotes. 
Don't forget to contact your furniture dealer to help you decide what's best for you. Even if you have the perfect waiting room, providing great service is the key to keeping your guests happy. Your receptionist is the first person that your guests will come in contact with, so be sure that they have a smile on their face and are polite to your guests. Be sure to always keep your waiting room clean, including your reception desk. Make sure that your guests feel welcome by offering to hang up their coat or giving them a glass of water or coffee. And always remember to never keep your guests waiting so that they don't have a negative experience. There's no better way of knowing what your guests want than putting yourself in their shoes. Think about what you would wanna see in a waiting room and what would make you comfortable. Ask your coworkers for opinions or even ask your guests for suggestions. If you found this video helpful, let us know by hitting the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe because we have a ton of new reception furniture content coming out soon. If you have any other questions on how to lay out your office furniture, visit us at the Learning Center at btod.com. Thanks for watching.